Longtime Will of Fortune host Pat Sajak has once again left fans puzzled with a peculiar joke about Vanna White. On January 10's episode, a contestant divulged her love for adventurous travels when the interview segment took a turn. Pat, 77, was interviewing Diana, who gushed about her travels, the more adventurous, the better. She continued, so I spent a week roughing it in the Amazon rainforest, camping in the Namib desert. Most recently, I went reindeer sledding in Norway. Instead of sticking to the travel theme, the Wheel of Fortune warhorse quizzically threw a curveball question. He asked, Have you ever trimmed the topiary in Vanna's mansion? It's really exciting, he enthusiastically added. Cut to Vanna, 66, sporting chic 70s pants and a nervous smile, as the audience gasped and chuckled at the unexpected query. Diana, laughing herself, assured, I haven't, pledging, but it'll be on my list after the show. Okay, good. Pat chimed in. Nice to have you here, he added before turning to Vanna and quipping, she made me do that one weekend. Pat's puzzling Vanna jokes. This isn't the first time Pat has raised eyebrows with his banter about Vanna. Last year, he made a stalker joke, claiming he likes to hide in her backyard, during a post-show chat. As the credits rolled, he asked, So when you're away from the exciting world of show business, is there a place to go to relax? Vanna replied, Yeah, my garden and my backyard. It's peaceful, it's quiet, there are trees, there are birds. When the iconic letter turner asked if Pat had a go to spot, he replied, Uh, you don't know this, but it's actually your garden. I'm usually there about two or three in the morning. Don't be alarmed. Pat Sajik with a stalker joke to end the night? Hashtag Wheelofferchin, one user wrote on X, formerly Twitter. Perhaps most infamous was an eyebrow raising incident two seasons back when he jokingly asked Vanna if she ever watched opera in the buff. The inappropriate remark left Vanna responding with a forced laugh and a simple no. As for the game, Diana spun her way to an impressive $27,198 but fell short of solving the bonus puzzle phrase on a whim. Unfortunately, this meant missing out on the coveted new BMW parked tantalizingly on the Wheel of Fortune lot all week. Pat is retiring at the end of the now airing season in June 2024 to make way for Ryan Seacrest who will begin hosting next fall. Vanna reportedly fought hard for a pay raise upon his retirement news, and she'll stay on board until 2026 under her new contract. Pat Sajik cracks bizarre joke about trimming Vanna White's topiary in awkward Wheel of Fortune moment. It was an evening like any other on Wheel of Fortune, the flashing lights, the iconic theme music, and the excitement of contestants spinning for a life-changing amount of money. But what would unfold in the second half of the show was anything but typical. As the evening drew on, Pat Sajik found himself at the center of an awkward and completely unexpected moment, one that left audiences across America in a state of confusion, laughter, and a few raised eyebrows. It was a joke, or perhaps an attempt at humor, that would soon become a viral moment of TV history. The atmosphere in the studio was electric, as the evening's game progressed smoothly. Contestants were buzzing with excitement, spinning the giant wheel, and solving puzzles with vigor. Vanna White, the elegant co-host, was gracefully doing her usual routine, walking from one letter board to another, giving the audience her iconic smile and wave. The chemistry between Sajik and White had been a staple of the show for decades, their camaraderie being as much. But then, out of nowhere, Pat Sajik, known for his dry wit and sometimes offbeat commentary, threw a curveball that no one saw coming. The puzzle for the round was slowly coming into focus. The letters had been revealing a common phrase, and the studio audience was growing increasingly curious about the solution. At this point, only a few letters remained hidden, and a sense of anticipation filled the air. But just as things were starting to heat up, Sajik, clearly trying to lighten the mood, turned to his longtime co-host and, with a mischievous grin, dropped a comment that instantly shifted the energy in the room. Well, Vanna, he began, leaning into the microphone, you know, sometimes this game is like trimming a topiary. You just have to get in there, clean it up, and make sure everything is in place. Vanna White, ever the professional, smiled politely, though it was clear from her expression that the remark had caught her off guard. 
The audience, likewise, seemed to pause for a moment, unsure whether they had just heard the joke correctly. Sajak continued, clearly not reading the room. You know, Vanna, if I were to trim your topiary, he paused, then added, I mean, hair, not the, ah, uh, other thing, of course. Just making sure you look your best, just like we do every week. The studio fell into an awkward silence. For a brief second, the only sound that could be heard was the faint hum of the air conditioning. The odd juxtaposition of Sajik's words and White's serene composure left the audience wondering if this was just another attempt at humor or if there was an unintended awkwardness about it. Vanna, clearly trying to navigate the situation with grace, chuckled lightly, but her eyes revealed a flicker of uncertainty. Well, Pat, thank you for the trim advice, she replied, her voice smooth but with just a hint of bemusement. I think I'm good for now. Sajik, sensing the brief tension, tried to recover by flashing one of his signature grins, but it was clear the joke had missed its mark. He quickly moved on, introducing the next round with a bit of a stumble in his voice. All right, let's spin the wheel again, he said, quickly trying to redirect the focus back onto the game. But the moment had already taken hold. The awkward exchange quickly spiraled into viral territory, with clips of the interaction flooding social media platforms. Fans and critics alike debated the odd timing and the strange nature of the joke, with some finding it amusing and others unsure how to interpret it. On Twitter, the reactions ranged from confusion to outright amusement. One user tweeted, Did Pat just compare Vanna's hair to a topiary? What even is happening right now? Another simply wrote, Pat, what did you just say? The clip quickly racked up thousands of views, with memes and jokes circulating about the bizarre nature of the moment. Some viewers took the opportunity to joke about the trimming comment, likening it to Sajik's well-known quick-witted and sometimes eccentric sense of humor. Pat Sajik, still trying to be the king of awkward TV moments after all these years, one fan quipped. However, it wasn't just fans who were puzzled by the awkward exchange. In an interview shortly after the taping, several of the Wheel of Fortune production staff were reportedly overheard discussing the moment. Some speculated that Sajik was simply trying to be playful, while others thought that he may have misjudged the delivery or timing of his comment. Despite the uncomfortable tension that lingered, both Pat Sajik and Vanna White seemed to move forward without letting the moment define them. Vanna, ever the consummate professional, continued her hosting duties.